All right, what's up? First and foremost, congratulations on your new purchase of your Barant Lightweight Matrix front bumper from Skins. Speaking of Skins, I got Jeff here from Skins who's going to take just a few minutes with me to show you guys how to install your awesome new lightweight front bumper. Okay, first guys, you're going to take uh, the side panel and hood off so we can access our front bumper and the mounting of it. Cool. All right, with that exposed, this is on a boost sled. Um, boost or non-boost, uh, it's all the same install. A couple things you guys want to note here. We've got two fasteners in the front of uh, T45s. We've got a 10 millimeter bolt here that holds it to the nose cone. And then we've got two 10 millimeter bolts here that you want, want to pay attention to on the left-hand side or clutch side. You've got a ground strap that you'll want to put back on. And then on the exhaust side, we've got a spring tab that you want to make sure that that is uh, put back on and oriented in the right direction, which we'll show you here as well. All right. Um, one other thing too, just to note, uh, when we take the uh, front bumper off, we're also going to be reusing the plastic uh, quarter turn plates here that locate the hood uh, or the side panel, I'm sorry, the side panel back to the front bumper and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, uh, belt guard off. Now we're gonna take just our, our couple fasteners here and get this front bumper off. So Jeff here is gonna take the spring off. You wanna make sure you don't drop that down into the chassis. Um, and then we're gonna take our two 10 millimeters right here. It's a little tight in there, especially on the boost sled, but you'll want to um, kind of one of the things here, the key is to loosen up the actual nut side versus the bolt side because there's not a ton of the bolt head sticking out. So he broke the bolt loose on the, uh, on the pipe side um, versus, the, or I'm sorry, the nut side of the bolt versus the head side of the bolt. While he's working that, I'm gonna jump in here Get these two T45s out. Okay, I'm also gonna take the front uh, nose cone bolt out, which is a 10 millimeter on each side. Okay, so again, guys, uh, breaking this bolt loose with the nut versus the head is uh, just makes it easier and comes off nice and easy here. Okay, with this last nut, oh boy, last nut out here. Yeah, I've got my ground strap there. Now the bumper will come out of here. And next guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a drill and uh, with a 3 16 drill bit. And we're basically gonna be drilling just the head off of the, the rivets that hold the quarter turn plastic retainer. All right guys, once you've got the, um, these plastic pieces off of the bumper, one thing to note, there is an orientation for these. They are directional, pretty easy. It actually literally says front on the bracket. So this, uh, the, the hole that says front will go um, uh, facing the front of the snowmobile. So we'll show you here on the bumper, okay? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw the bumper in. All right, on the exhaust side, especially on a matrix boost, uh, one thing that kind of helps is, so I basically put the, the nut that comes in the hardware kit, and th this is one note, um, the nut, the, the reason that we use the skins nut is because it is a thinner nut. The stock one is uh, thicker, and because the, the mount on the skins bumper is a little thicker, this thinner nut allows it, the bolt to get into the nylon. 
All right, so this is all a little tricky, but you basically, you get your bracket on there. And then again, with me being able to have that nut in the wrench there, you can get that finger tight there. And then we'll note this just one more time. You have a ground strap on the exhaust side, the ground, it goes the bumper, the ground strap, and then the nut. So um, yeah, just a couple more steps here. Got the nose cone bolt. You, out the, on the nose cone bolt, you will use the factory hardware. All right, so we now have the, all the fasteners on the bumper. We got our spring tab with our spring holding back down the pipe, our two T45s, our 10 mil here, and then the ground strap on the clutch side. So our final step is uh, basically what we need to do is uh, locate the quarter turn uh, plastic adapters for the hood, and we're gonna show you how we do that. Um, so again, uh, these are labeled. So you find the one that says front that goes towards the front of the sled. So Jeff, that one's yours. Okay. The way that we locate uh, where these go on the bumper, it's a very simple process. You're going to go ahead and put your stock hood back on and then slide these uh, again with the word front towards the front. And you can see that locates this to the hood. And then what you can do is take take a silver Sharpie or just a marker of some sort. And you can see this hole is now uh, right there. And so when you take that off, this will locate. Um, so now we're going to use a punch and we'll um, be able to start that hole. So here's my mark. I'm gonna take a center punch, then we'll drill this with a 3 16 We'll uh, drill and rivet this on, and then uh, that'll locate us for the front hole. All right, so now that we have that back hole uh, <laughs> drilled, again, double check that you have front on the bracket going to the front. And then you can see like the bracket obviously moves here. So what we're gonna do is basically hold that in. Um, so the contour of the bracket goes to the bumper. center punch your hole Uh, one final step here. We've got some metal shavings from uh, mounting our bumper mounts there. So I'll just use the vac here and suck those out. All right, guys, last couple steps here. We've got our belt holder back in place. We got our hood mounts mounted to the bumper. Now we're going to throw our hood back on. And one thing, again, when with those hood mounts, there's a lot of play there. Um, I actually, mine was a little high, so I was able to just push my bracket down just a little bit to, again, align the hood here. Side panels back on, quarter turns in. All right, and that's it. That wraps up the install of the Brant Edition lightweight, ultra lightweight skins bumper. Jeff, about four to six horsepower. It At adds. least. At yep. least. Thanks for the help on the install. Thank you for, guys for tuning in, purchasing the bumper. And if you have any other questions on any other installs, make sure you check out the YouTube channel.